doing the cooking classes. It was a prawn curry recipe that I was introduced. My friends just love it. And now I can just give them one of these packs. Most cooking classes try to simplify the steps to a dish, but today, it doesn't get any simpler than this. Some pre-mixed sachets of spice, some fresh herbs, follow the recipe on the back of the pack, and within 20 minutes, an authentic prawn curry is ready to eat. These students are at the Highbury Community House Indian cooking class, learning from teacher Viba Soni using her Spice and Easy recipe kits. Oh, it is interesting. It is interesting to find, you know, it's it's this recipe, it's so easy to follow. And then you got all the ingredients here to you need. And you don't you don't have to buy in a box. So you just, you know, use it once and just throw it out. Before you hit you didn't make the authentic curries then, you had the sauces in the jar and it was nothing like this. Spice and Easy is the brainchild of mathematician Viba and her husband, computer engineer Sanjay. Arriving in New Zealand nine years ago, the couple found themselves in the familiar Catch-22 situation of the Kiwi experience requirement. That led Sanjay to open an Indian grocery, the first of its kind on Auckland's North Shore, seven years ago. As a result of selling various spices and ingredients, the concept of pre-packed recipe kits was born. And when people start coming in, um, they used to get some recipes, oh, we like Indian food, and uh, could you guide us as to what sort of spices do I need for making butter chicken or chicken tikka masala? And um, eventually what used to happen was I used to end up giving 10, 12 different kinds of spices, and they used to end up buying $20, $30 worth of spices for one recipe. They used to go back home, used to just sit there in the pantry, just, just used to go stale. I thought, why not put this in, in a kit form so that people can just go home and use that kit and then, you know, there's no need of storage. But there was a need to decide which recipes will be used in the kits. The selection of recipes is uh, taken up from our own family recipes and friends um, that I have uh, communicated with. And the cooking classes that we did was a very good platform for us. Uh, we did more than um, you know, 50 courses there and we collated feedback from our own students. And the recipes that they voted best which they like best from them, we converted it into the Spice and Easy recipe kits. Yep, my husband, um, the first time we bought it, my husband used it, and I was amazed. I mean, he, he found it very easy. He just followed the steps, one, two, three, all the way through. I think the pre-measuring was fantastic for him. Um, meant there was nothing, he couldn't get his teaspoons and his tablespoons mixed up. <laughs> I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have gone out and um, used, bought each container, so it would have been expensive for me. And in case, I don't like it, which is a possibility. I, um, yeah, I found it really good. Once the recipes were set, the next hurdle was packaging. Every part of the kit, from the paper packaging to the plastic and the ink, needed to be food grade and the spices certified pest free. We had to give at least 66 different sort of certificates to get this product done, which took us more than three, three and a half months to sort that out. So it was pretty hard for us to sort the packaging out. It took us almost one year to do the packaging and finally we got there. The initial thing was to make it very simple and easy and people should know what, what's in there in the package. To find out if their novel idea would sell, they approached the local butcher and grocery shops to arrange food tastings for their customers. We said, yeah, of course, we'd like to give it a go. Um, we tried uh, a couple of different flavours and they took off straight away. And um, we've just kept building and building our stock numbers since then. Um, we've got a designated range of customers who come in and they come in only because we sell that product. So it works very, very well for us. And they're not afraid to use the hands-on approach to get feedback from their target market. This is um, chicken tikka masala from the Spice and Easy recipe kit. And what we're trying to do is give you the convenience of pre-packed, pre-measured spices and a tried and tested recipe enclosed so you can cook yourself at home Indian gourmet food without the use of preservatives. They're much nicer than buying a paste and doing it, uh, buying the spices like that and 
cooking them yourself and grinding is much more fun. Now there are more than 20 recipes and about 15,000 units ordered throughout the country each month. But Sanjay and Viba have more ideas for their business. Like these recipes, it's not, we're not limited to just uh, the, the recipe kits. Now we're launching our rice flavors. Uh, we've got a lemon rice, cumin rice, pilau rice. We're getting a dal, the yellow dal and the red lentil dal. In the next step, we were thinking of launching this in Australia as well. And with the right ingredients, that dream may just be a few stirs away.